heathen or nation basically anybody who is not African American go basically black goyim gentile which means nation heathen which means everybody else which means no they do not know the god of the black man caveman ungodly wicked neanderthal chromachnum barbarian uncivilized and devils okay that was that one guy you just saw here hey I'm an Israelite. Yeah, you see my hair getting longer? That's how much truth I know. Do not test me. <laughs> oh, but anyway. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm about to make a new list. But what we're going to do is I'm going to scratch off this list. What I already got. Adversaries. Animal. Oh, Shem. Name, repetition, memorial. List of names. Strangers have been called by Yahweh, not me. Adversaries, animal, beasts of the field, bull, enemies, heathen. So we could take that out. Kindred, multitudes, nations, nursing fathers and nursing mothers. People, sea people, oh, sea, Sodomitish, thorn brittle, those that dwell on the earth, tongues, unrighteous, this is probably in second Ezra right now, wicked, wild beasts, shafts, clay, vessels. So let's add, do I have Goyam? So Goyim will be G E F G. So how you spell Goyim? We're just adding in new entries. Goyim. Add to dictionary. And no add. Hmm. Ignore. Okay, don't worry about that too much. They're not going to know uh, much of these Hebraic words. Gentile. And put an S on there. Okay. I got wicked. Oh. I got heathen. Caveman. God didn't call them cave. Those that dwell in the clefts of the rock, that's a caveman to me. By default. A, B, C, caveman. I should say uh, Clefts of the Rock for a little excerpt, but you guys be my witnesses. Ungodly, unrighteous, ungodly, I got wicked, Neanderthal, can't really put that in there, but I can put that in <laughs> for caveman. <laughs> ah! Hold on, how you spell Neanderthal? He had he looks the same. The guy hasn't changed. He looks actually better. It's a natural state. Neanderthal. Neanderthals. They're not extinct. I can tell you that much. Euro Asia. Wait a minute. Europe. Yes, sir. Cro Magnum. Neanderthals. How did I spell it? N e a n Neanderthal. Oh, let me find out. I know how to spell Neander. 
N E A N D E R T H A. Oh boy, your boy know how to spell what? I got it now, Pat. N E A N D E R T H A L. Yeah, without second guessing myself. Well, I did. But yeah, Neanderthals. Oh, so put him on it. Um, oh, caveman. Come on, stop being so slow. Caveman, click. Neanderthal, click. What's the other one? Crow Magnum. <laughs> now that's the one I looked up the other day. They're really the Crow Magnums. Crow Magnon. Okay, forgive me. Only been here 400 years. Crow Magnon. Now let's go see the Crow Magnon. Crow Magnon, an early form of a modern human. Modern. Homo sapien, right? Let me put this mouse cord up. This thing is aggy me. That's why I like wireless. Homo sapiens, homosexuals, inhabiting Europe in the late past. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Europe. They don't tell you nowhere else. Look at this guy. Now, you know why you call him Cro Magnum? Look at that brow ridge. Look at the brow ridge. That's the uh, anthropological term for the the brow line uh to settle in europe from western asia so this is the ancestor of these current men today and you want to say that this is attractive 